Welcome to your temple, theguitartemple.com. Everything derives from the major scale. All the guitar scales you will ever see derive from simple 12 notes of the major scale. All the different sounds, the melodies, the music, the notations we get from the variation of those notes of the major scale. Naturals and accidentals. Naturals are notes that have only letters to them. It's never going to change. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are naturals. Okay? They don't have any flats nor sharps attached to them. Accidentals have a letter value and either has a sharp or flat associated with it. For example, uh, B flat, for example. Together, naturals and accidentals make up all of the musical notes in existence. So that's where we start, the major scale. Every chord and every single scale you will ever play is named by its comparison to the major scale. If you want to learn guitar scales, this is the best starting point, the major scale. You'll be getting into modes a little bit later on. The Ionian mode. That is the major scale. When you hear the term root note, it's the note that will sound best and give a sense of resolution to whatever you're playing in a riff, lick, and solos that you play. If you finish your phrases on a root note, it will make your playing sound more accurate. The major scale can be derived by whole steps and half steps of each note in the scale. So always remember this, it'll never change, it'll always be the same. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Just remember W, 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 H, W, 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 H. The major scale, We'll have notes, for example, A major scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You label those notes also with numbers in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, B, C, D, E. So you say a one, three, five, it's A, C, E. A, B, C, D, E. One, three, five, for example. And you'll be getting into that later. That is but remember, just to label them also, to remember them. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play a one, three, five in the notes. Uh, a, C, E. You know what I'm saying? This way you can build an arpeggio or you can build the chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eighth is C, same as one. Forever, remember that. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, octave, C. The C major scale and the natural minor scale, which we'll get into, are from the only keys with no flats and no sharps. Every other key needs at least one flat or sharp.
discussing a lot of the terminologies because you'll be hearing that as a musician all the time, the rest of your life. Major scale, and then he'll say, play the Ionian scale. What is the Ionian scale? The Ionian scale is the major scale. Okay, they have different degrees. Each note in the major scale can have its own scale. For example, C to C, D to D, E to E will be different scales. You can have theory all you want, but it comes down to the notes and the sound, the sound of the notes. Hear the notes. There are world-class players that are ear trained that just hear the notes. So this is terminology so that you'll better able to talk to somebody in the band and say, uh, uh, it's the major scale. And the other guy's going to say, okay, just play the Ionian mode. Well, the Ionian mode, for example, you get the key of C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay. Uh, the Ionian mode, that would be the mode one, Ionian. Ionian is the major scale. It'll never change. It's always going to be the same. Okay, play D. Well, if I go to D to D in those same notes, you could call that the Dorian mode. Okay? Uh, you're going to have to learn also about triads, the first, the third, the fifth notes of a scale, built that up. Everything derives from the major scale and is the building blocks of your chords. Uh, the Ionian mode is the major scale, C to C. Okay, the next one would be called Dorian mode. And then Phrygian mode, a third. And then Lydian Mexilidian, usually used in a lot of country, and um, Aeolian and Locrian, like that. They're different. It's all the same scale, see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm starting here, right? Second note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to start here, which would make it Phrygian, like that. C, Ionian is the major scale. In the major scale, all those notes, the next note in the C major scale is D. So you go from here, from that one, and you play all the same notes, but starting in the root note of D. And that becomes the Dorian mode. And then if you go to uh, three, for example, you start there. One first note, second note, third note, and make that your root note. And go seven up from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes. That becomes the Phrygian mode. We'll be the most important thing is your ears. Case closed, no getting around it, ear training. Uh, it's developing your ear. Okay. Uh, the tonic is what they call uh, the first note of C, the major scale. Okay, the tonic in the C major scale would be C, the tonic. That's another term you could use. And your arpeggios are derived from the major scale. Your first, your third, your fifth, your seventh. Like this, first, third, fifth, seventh. You're building your arpeggios. Remember, this video is just to get some terminologies down. I was speaking of triads. A triad is, is a set of three notes stacked in thirds. Now, for example, a G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, right? If you start counting from G, then the third is B. G, A, B, one, one, two, three. If you start counting from A, then the third is C, A, B, C. A triad is a group of three notes that are all a third apart. For example, well, the root note, as we discussed, the first, the third, and the fifth notes. This will make up the triad stacked in thirds. Simple as that. Your triads, first, third, fifth, one, three, five, one, two, three. One, two, three. You add those notes. 
that that note, this note, that note, that makes your triad. Now let's discuss those flats and sharps. If one says it's a flatted third, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, then C is flat, okay? If they say it's sharp, it's sharp. So this is what we do. A flatted third, that means the pitch between the second and the third, okay? So going from one, two, from two to three, it's flatted. So it's right there in the middle, right? That makes it a flat. Flat five. Flat the fifth. The pitch in between one, two, three, four, and five, right there, it's flatted. It's not a whole step, it's a half step, right? the accidentals. Flat six, the pitch in between one, two, three, four, five, and six, right here, right? Flat seven, the pitch in between six and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the pitch right in between, right? So that's how you can determine when someone says uh, 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 flat the seven. For more example, the first and the second major scale degrees, right? One, two, a degree. The first and second major scale degrees of a whole step apart, one whole step. That's a whole step, one whole step. Meaning they have a pitch in between them. That's the flat. This pitch is called a flatted second, right? Whole pitch in between a flatted second. Now A sharp and B flat, basically the same thing, unless you're speaking on mathematics, but for the normal people of the world, for practical purposes, they are considered the same pitch. A sharp, B flat. When somebody says to play a one, three, five, it's the first chord, the third chord, and the fifth chord of the scale. How do you build the scale? You know, one, three, five of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that we talked about. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, three, five, right? A, B, C, D, E, right? A, C, E, A, B, C, D, E, the building blocks of the triad. So this is how you build your chords. Chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four. First note, chord one, major. So remember, you have seven chords for the seven notes of the major scale. The first note, your root note, has a full chord behind it. How do you determine what that chord is? And then the second note, that chord. And the third note, what chord can you make out of that? You always go from C, the first, the third, and the fifth. That's why you want to number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, uh, like that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, first, third, and fifth. That's going to be your chord for the very first one. The well, I hope one. this has been a blessing to you, and if it has, do give a donation. Do not be a scammer. <laughs> Don't take something for nothing. Give a little love gift. What's a buck? Anyway, do that and become one with your instrument because you will be 
playing on stage soon if you do what I'm telling you. I guarantee it. I'm positive. So this is for the person who's all in. This is not for the Kimbaya and play it at campfire. You can, you're welcome to watch the videos, but this is for the ones who want to dissect each video and understand what I'm trying to say. And I'll see you in the next video when you know you understand this one. Okay? All right.